Hello, WA Building Community. Michael McGowan here, HA Executive Director, joined by Tim Reardon, HA Chief Economist here in the office in WA. Tim, you've been out and about talking about the WA housing market, but can you give us a little bit of insights about what you're seeing and how that compares to the rest of the country? Well, it's a very different cycle here in WA. WA zigs, the rest of the country zags. And what we've seen, 25% increase in established house prices, which is not a surprise. Last year, I thought we'd see a 30% increase over three to five years. It's happened within just 12 months. That's really good in terms of what's going to happen for renovations. So we get a positive wealth effect as a consequence of the rise in house prices. But from here on in, that price growth isn't going to continue at the same pace. That speed at which it happens is going to take a little bit of time to adjust. We're going to see uh, rental shortages ease just modestly. The level of interstate investment that we have seen, particularly new home building, will start to slow. That's partly because of what's happened in Melbourne. Uh, Melbourne house prices have come off a little bit due to the government introducing some new taxes in that environment. It's not a surprise. More tax results in fewer homes. But for WA, uh, new home building is on a very different uh, trajectory. We're building almost half the number of homes we need to build for the growth in population that we're seeing here. Exceptionally low unemployment, higher wages in the rest of the country. House prices, despite the stories, are still very affordable in WA. And so given that longer term trajectory of more stable economic growth than what we've seen over the past couple of decades, we'll see the industry remain constrained by just capacity, not by market demand for at least the next couple of years. So there you have it. Some really, I guess, positive news for the building community that uh, we're in for a sustained period of home building. Uh, demand is going to remain really, really high. Uh, and I guess for, for the builders, it's all about investing in businesses, investing in labour capacity, apprentices, skilled migrants, uh, so that we can get towards that target of building 25,000 homes a year. Thanks for joining us, Tim. Uh, always great to have you in WA and I uh, look forward to catching you soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.